No, I'm just going to pin one down next to her. So you're not harming her? No, absolutely not. Oh. And then I just pin the other one, constrain her. Now, I've never actually milled a spider before, funnily enough. Still, always a first time. Right, what I have to do now is grasp this little thread extending at the back of her abdomen and pull. Simple as that. And out comes a seemingly endless thread being made in the tiny silk factory at the back of the spider. This spider could produce 700 metres of silk in one continuous strand. But to discover why the silk is so strong, we need to have a closer look at the spider itself. This is the actual spider at 12,000 times magnification. Here on the abdomen are four organs known as spinnerets. Each of them is dotted with lots of mobile finger-like spigots which squirt out liquid protein. As the liquid leaves the spider, it dries on contact with the air, forming a super strong thread. And twisting several strands together gives the thread even more strength. Each spider can produce several different types of silk from their spinnerets. From sticky sheets used to wrap the victim to an incredibly strong single thread. You're kind of aware of the toughness of this stuff that's just disproportionate to its scale. It's so fine. That's, well, a thirtieth the thickness of human hair. And yet, you can feel it. You can exert pressure on it. You can feel the bounce in it. If this thread were as thick as a pencil, it could tow an ocean liner with ease. But the genius of the web lies not just in the strong thread, but in how it's used. And that secret lies in the water droplets at every junction. Inside each droplet, strands of web are tightly curled. Scientists believe that when a fly slams into it, these strands unravel allowing the web to flex and stretch without breaking. 